Nathan and today in this PSLE 2017 paper 2 question series I'll be going through question 18. So this is the last question in this question series so in my channel I am to help you all master all those concepts out there okay so this is question 18 and this question is testing us on circles and area and perimeter okay so let's read the question first the figure below is made up of a rectangle semicircles and quarter circles the area of the rectangle is 288 cm square find the perimeter of the rectangle so this is part a and there's a part b in this question and i'll go through later in this video so first i'm going to cut the rectangle into squares okay into squares so first i'm cutting the rectangle three lines across so i'm cutting it each in the radius okay so this is the let me draw it to you so this is a radius and after this this is a another radius okay and quarter circles what they have is only radiuses so everything that i'm doing is a radius okay so here is another radius then in the middle another radius another radius okay just keeps on going radius 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 then it's the same thing here as well radius 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 so all the radiuses are equal so i hope you understand that so by now you should have understood that okay so now that we have made all of them squares i hope i can erase this so that it will be clearer okay so now that all of them are squares right now we can find the perimeter by finding the area of each square so if you count them up right the number of squares is actually eight times four because um you can count the breadth the breadth that is one two three four and then you can count the length one two three four five six seven Eight. so 8 times 4 you can find the number of squares so which is 32 or you could just count it now okay so that's 32 squares right so I'm gonna take area of 32 squares is basically area of the rectangle which is 288 cm square so what I'm gonna do is to find the area of 1 square which is 288 cm square divided by 32 so it will give me 9 cm square and I hope you have learned something that about the square root and I've done this, I've explained about this a couple of videos back about the square root. So you can go view that video in order to find it. Okay. So the length of one square is basically square root 9 cm. So it is 3 cm. But you can only square root for squares. It's in the name square root. Okay, understand? So square root 9, it gives us 3 cm. So each length is 3 cm. Or you could say each radius is 3 cm get it it's 3 cm okay so i think you understand that okay so in order to find the perimeter of the rectangle right it's basically taking 3 cm and putting it on the perimeter so that's basically length of the rectangle is 8 times 3 okay because that's 8 right so i'm just taking 8 of the radiuses times 3 cm which will give me 24 cm then i'm finding the breadth of the rectangle so you give me 4 times 3 because it's 4 over here so you give me 12 cm so I'm just gonna add this two times so 24 plus 12 24 plus 12 two times okay so the perimeter of the rectangle is two lengths plus two breadths which is basically 24 plus 24 plus 12 plus 12 which is 72 centimeters so this is the answer for part A so 72 cm is the perimeter of the rectangle so let's move on to part B. So this is basically part B, okay? So let's read part B. Find the area of the figure. They are telling us to take pi equals to 22 over 7. Okay, so we know the area of the rectangle is 288 cm square, right? So in order to find the area of the figure, we basically need to take the area of the rectangle, okay? 
which is 288 cm square plus area of all these quadrants because when we cut the semicircle into half gives us quadrants right so all of these quadrants we just need to add it so let me erase for the rectangle and let me highlight for the quadrants so all these quadrants we need to find it okay you can either you can count all the quadrants okay so for part b area of the figure is basically 28 quadrants so all of this when you count it is actually 28 quadrants okay plus one rectangle this whole rectangle over here so the area of the rectangle is 288 cm square right so we have we already know that but four quadrants is equal to one circle how many how many circles is 28 quadrants it is seven circles okay so 28 quadrants is seven circles so basically instead of 28 quadrants plus one rectangle right it's going to become seven circles plus one rectangle okay i hope you understand that so i'm going to we already know the radius of the circle which is length of the square which is 3 cm remember part a i've told you that the length of the square or the radius of the circle is 3 cm right so here it is let's uh i hope you remember it so in order to find the area of seven circles we need to know how to find the area of one circle first the, the area of one circle is the formula pi r square which is pi times r times r okay so i'm just going to take pi r square times seven because seven circles so in order to do that pi is 22 over 7 r is radius which is 3 cm so so 22 over 7 times 3 times 3 times 7 okay so it will give us 198 cm square so we just need to add up this and this over here the rectangle and the seven circles so basically the area of the figure is 198 cm square plus 288 cm square which is 486 cm square okay so i hope you understand my explanation for this question question 18 and this is the last question of this 2017 paper to question series and thank you and bye bye i'll see you in my next video bye